seven. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, you're going to see it right on the left-hand side, second one down, the opening call. You hit subscribe. You can get that for one month for $149. You get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 or 22%. And you can get it for one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So you can go over, you can check it out. If it works for you, awesome. If it doesn't work for you on the 29th day, folks, you can cancel it and you get your money back. And in between that time, you're going to get a great newsletter and a great education. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Hi, Tom. How are you doing? We've got a very wet day here. Do ya? Okay. Yeah, we needed it. Good. That's good, man. I'm sure they wish that they had some wet days out west. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's face it. Well, we've had a drought mostly this year in the summer, and uh, we need this rain, yes. Yeah, wow, even up there. Okay, All right. So, in the market, uh, you know, uh, well, do we have a drought? Is it raining? Is it storming? Is the sunshine going to come out, man? <laughs> well, it's very interesting. If you look at the left side, a move from the, uh, let's just go to this pattern that we're looking at on the left side chart, which is the daily chart. Okay. There was just a steady, uh, um, every day you saw buying come in. So from the little trough that we made on the 27th of July at 31,000, uh, 31, let's call it 800, all the way up, it was just steady buying to the 34,281 level on the 16th of August. Coming down, uh, it's been almost a straight line down, and we've come down in a shorter time span. I call it uh, bar symmetry from that left side low that we were looking at to the way up and coming down, we've gone down and broken that support in a shorter time frame. I'm always a little wary of that because it's just saying that weakness has come in, meaning that the buying pressure is very minimal at this particular point. Two things are already quite important, and uh, I'll spend a little more time in my show tomorrow in the Tiger Technicians Hour discussing this. But if you go from the 18,213 low of the 20th of March, we doubled going to 36,952. And that, that high in uh, January, the first week of January, when you think of all the things that have gone on this year, I still say at this particular point, as we're speaking at, what is it, 321 Eastern time on the 6th of September, could be different tomorrow, but right now, We've done very well when you consider that with all the negativity, we've only pulled back from the let's call it 37,000 to the low of uh, th uh, to the low most recent level. That's today's low of uh, 31,000. So, in the context of what we've had, what all the news is representing, I consider that to be quite good. So, in the actual what I have for, for, for my subscribers. So we've been long, we're still long a call from way back in 2020 that we got the low and we've, we've kept that position. Not all of it, we've taken some off. But the most recent uh, low that we got, which was uh, the low uh, that was on uh, beginning of, in the middle of June, um, that one we've got stopped out of very nice gains. And then we gave back some because we've tried to go long for two days. But... We did go short on the 22nd of on the uh, was it yes the 22nd of July, I'm sorry that was wrong 22nd of August, uh, we went short the Dow so we're still short that position, and basically what I'm looking at here is, within the context of patterns, I do not like that we've turned down so sharply from this peak B with a Doji candle in the weekly chart from the high that was made back on the 16th of August. And it's been relentless uh, for two weeks. And today, the start of a new week, once again, it's a red candle. And that just says to me, uh, and I've found that with subscribers, we've, we've raised cash again. We've got a very big cash position once again. And it's becoming a little bit more difficult to find positions that look as if they could withstand any intense selling. 
So we're on the sidelines here. We're waiting for some entries. I've got some stocks. I actually now have a couple of stocks that look like they could be good short positions. So that's that's a change. And at the, at the same time, if you're looking at, uh, you had spoken about the dollar. Look at this. Basil, can I just ask off. you a question about that yes. the middle chart sure. there, please? Can you go back? Yep. Yeah. So uh, as you said, you only got to a B and was selling off. Is yes. that is where we are right now under the A, actually? Uh, yes, it is under the A. But remember, my the whole concept of the Chapman wave is if you don't take out that initial starting point, in this case, 29,653, you are still technically in an up move. I see. And if you okay. take that, I just, you have to restart. Completely. I get it. Okay, cool. Okay. And we have seen patterns where you've had huge gains with big pullbacks like this, and then it just suddenly takes off. Okay. So, just nice. to clarify, yes. Yeah. And the and the, you were talking about the dollar. Well, the dollar uh, has just gone to a leg E for a multi-year high. Of course, you spoke about that 121 um, high that was made way back, was it 21 years ago? Yes. And um, so what we've done is we've gone sharply above the 103.82 high of January of 2017. We're at 110 right now. I say sharply just in the chart pattern in numbers seven points is not that great a deal but it, it is on the chart because this is still leg c you can see the macd strong stochastics flat at 89 percent and that's very good so when i try to put this together i'm saying that this week we can see a number of, of aspects that either are continuation patterns or reversal patterns because if you look at the uh, uh, let me go to the tbt which is the inverse of the uh, bonds and this is the right here. This is the ultra short Lehman 20 T bond ETF. Peak C in the weekly chart, in the monthly chart. We've got a test of 29.56 was the high of the 17th of June in the weekly chart. And we've got a potential leg F. So as we're getting close, I always look at this to say if there's a nice cup formation and you're getting towards the recent, the most, uh, the highest level that you've got on the left side. That's here, 29.56. That's going to be the test and how it either breaks out or it reverses. So we're getting really close to a really big test for me in the bonds. And if you look at bonds, look at this. And I'll do a little bit more when I do my show tomorrow, my Target Technicians Hour. Uh, I did some today, but I'll do a little more tomorrow because you can see this big cup shape in my triple yield chart. This is the 30-year um, TYX, T bond yield. This is the, t the brown is the, that's white. The brown is the TNX and the cyan, the light blue one is FVX. It's the five year. And you can see what I said to subscribers, let's watch to see how this cup formation forms a handle, not one of my favorite patterns. And if it's able to test the 34.72, that's 3.472%, uh, that's going to be very important. And if you're looking at the iShares of the global Timber and Forestry ETF Wood, W-O-D. It's coming right back to the 200 period moving average and is starting to impact the Philadelphia Housing Index. So I don't think we can take what's happening now here lightly at all because there are a number of uh, very important aspects. If Wood goes below that 200 period moving average, if the Philadelphia Housing pulls back, there's a very important moment. Have a great one, Basil. Have a safe one. Thank you, Tom. Stay you right too. there, you folks. Come right back.